Hey hamsters! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling the hottest topic in hamster combat. What's the key to grabbing those valuable hamster tokens? Is it profit per hour? Coin balance? Levels? Or maybe something even more mysterious? Stick around because we've got some exciting insights you won't want to miss. First things first, let's talk turkey, or should I say, talk hamster. Imagine this. After two grueling months of non-stop hamster battles, endless tapping, and performing a myriad of hamster-related activities, you find out that your reward is less than five. And guess what? You can't even withdraw it. Sounds like a bad joke, right? Unfortunately, this was the harsh reality for many with the Pixelverse airdrop. And if we're not careful, the same fate could befall us in hamster combat. But fear not! I've got the strategy you need to avoid these pitfalls and actually start seeing some real rewards. Now, let's take a trip down memory lane. On June 6, 2024, Hamster Combat developers tweeted that the airdrop would depend on profit per hour and some other activity parameters yet to be revealed, but definitely not coin balance. They reiterated this crucial piece of information again on June 18, 2024. And, just to make sure we all got the message, they tweeted it a third time on July 4, 2024, complete with a humorous meme emphasizing that profit per hour is more important than coin balance. So, we all know this, but here's where it gets interesting. Let's talk about Pixelverse for a moment. Many of us in the hamster combat community were also mining Pixelverse. We had high hopes and expected significant profits, but reality was far from what we anticipated. Pixelverse officially launched on July 18th, and they're gearing up for their NFT launch on July 25th. Here's the kicker. In the Pixelverse airdrop allocation, it was the levels that mattered more than the coin balance. Levels 1 to 4 participants got zero rewards despite holding millions of coins. Levels 5 to 7 received a mere 230 Pixelverse tokens worth about 8 dollars. Levels 8 to 9 fared a bit better with 690 tokens, and level 10 received 5,210 tokens, which is still less than $250. Pixelverse had around 75 million users, and about 60 million of them were in levels 1 to 4, receiving nothing. Only 15 million users could claim their airdrop, and most ended up with just $80 each. Now, let's bring this back to Hamster Combat. If Hamster Combat follows a similar path, those in bronze, silver, gold, and platinum levels might end up with nothing. Even those in diamond, epic, or legendary levels could receive as little as $10, regardless of their profit per hour. My brother had 18 million coins in Pixelverse, and a friend had 500 million, both in level 5, and both received just $8. I'm not saying this is exactly what will happen with hamster combat, but it's a possibility we must consider. Masters and grandmasters might receive less than $30, while lords and creators might get under $250. This is hypothetical, but remember, hamster combat has 250 million users and 200 million of them could be in lower levels, potentially receiving less than $10 in token allocation. Moreover, Pixelverse only allows you to withdraw 10% of your tokens at a time. If you withdraw now, you lose 90% to the community. Here's the critical insight. Despite profit per hour being crucial, your level could be even more important. On the Hamster Combat app, levels are tied to coin balance. For instance, to be at the master level, you need at least 50 million coins. Grandmaster requires 100 million, Lord 1 billion, and Creator 18 billion. So, despite Hamster Combat's emphasis on profit per hour over coin balance, you still need a substantial coin balance to level up. My strategy, always maintain your coin balance at the level's base requirement. For Grandmaster, that's at least 100 million coins. Spend the rest on boosting your profit per hour. As your profit per hour increases, so will your coin balance, 
helping you move to the next level. If you're below Grandmaster, focus on leveling up. It's easier once you hit Grandmaster. Shift your focus to boosting your profit per hour. Increasing your level is key. Just like in Pixelverse, without a higher level, you might not get any reward. On Hamster Combat, some features are locked until you reach a certain level. Why would they lock features behind levels if levels weren't crucial? To sum it up, balance your coin holdings to match your level, then increase profit per hour. If you're below Grandmaster, focus on leveling up. Above that, push your profit per hour. With 3 million profit per hour, you could earn 72 million coins daily. Add daily combos and ciphers, and you're looking at 80 million coins daily. In 12 to 13 days, you'll hit 1 billion coins and reach Lord level. Hamsters, here's the game plan. Focus on your level and profit per whore to maximize your airdrop rewards. Don't repeat the mistakes we made with Pixelverse. Stay tuned for more updates. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, sign up for our daily newsletter, and join our Telegram channel. Links are in the description and pinned comment. Remember, we're all in this together. One for all and all for one. Now, let's delve deeper into the mechanics of hamster combat. Understanding the game's intricate details can significantly enhance your strategy. For starters, let's discuss the importance of profit per hour, PPH, in more detail. PPH essentially determines how much you earn per hour in the game. This metric is crucial because it directly impacts your earning potential over time. The higher your PPH, the more tokens you accumulate, which can be pivotal in leveling up and securing better rewards. However, it's not just about having a high PPH. You need to strategically balance your PPH with your coin balance. This balance is essential because, as we've discussed, your level in the game is directly tied to your coin balance. To reach higher levels, you need to maintain a certain amount of coins. For instance, to reach the master level, you need to hold at least 50 million coins. For Grandmaster, it's 100 million. For Lord, it's 1 billion. And for Creator, it's a whopping 18 billion coins. Here's a more detailed strategy to help you navigate this balancing act. 1. Assess your current position. Take stock of your current coin balance and PPH. Determine your current level and what the next level requires in terms of coin balance. 2. Set clear goals. Decide on your short-term and long-term goals. In the short term, aim to increase your PPH to boost your daily earnings. In the long term, focus on accumulating enough coins to reach the next level. 3. Allocate your resources wisely. Divide your resources between maintaining your coin balance and increasing your PPH. For example, if you need 50 million coins to stay at the master level, make sure you always have at least that amount. Use any excess coins to boost your PPH. 4. Monitor your progress. Regularly check your progress towards your goals. Adjust your strategy as needed based on your earnings and any changes in the game's dynamics. 5. Stay informed. Keep up with the latest updates from Hamster Combat developers. Any changes in the game's mechanics or reward system could impact your strategy. Subscribe to my channel, join my Telegram group, and stay connected for the latest news and tips. Now. Let's talk about some advanced strategies to maximize your rewards in hamster combat. 1. Leverage daily bonuses. Make sure you log in daily to claim any bonuses or rewards. These can add up over time and significantly boost your earnings. 2. Participate in events. Keep an eye out for special events or challenges within the game. Participating in these can provide additional rewards and help you progress faster. 3. Upgrade wisely. When upgrading your PPH or other aspects of the game, do so strategically. Focus on upgrades that provide the best return on investment in terms of increasing your earnings. 
4. Network with other players. Join the Hamster Combat community to share tips, strategies, and insights. Networking with other players can provide valuable information and help you stay ahead of the competition. 5. Plan for withdrawals. If and when you're able to withdraw your tokens, plan your withdrawals carefully. With games like Pixelverse limiting withdrawals to 10%, you'll want to strategize the best times and amounts to withdraw to maximize your earnings. My fellow CEOs, I believe that the key to maximizing your rewards in Hamster Combat lies in balancing your PPH and coin balance while strategically advancing through the levels. By setting clear goals, allocating resources wisely, and staying informed about the latest updates, you can navigate the game's dynamics and secure the best possible rewards. Remember, each player's journey is unique, so tailor these strategies to fit your individual goals and play style. Keep an eye on the updates I'll be sharing as new opportunities arise daily. Subscribe to the channel to stay informed about Hamster Combat and other exciting projects. Cardio, for example, has started a massive airdrop of $9.45 billion. I hope this video clears things up for you.